Hey guys, welcome to Carnivore Expeditions. Um, we have a little bit different of an adventure this week. We're going to try to take some supplies up to uh, Western North Carolina, which has been devastated by uh, Hurricane Helene. And uh, this is an empty cargo trailer. I'm going to be going to a church and picking up some clothing and other and other supplies and then running these up to uh, um, Western North Carolina. Our objective is to take supplies to the smaller towns. Uh, the larger towns have a little bit more in infrastructure. Uh, they're able to help themselves a little more, but the smaller towns are the ones that I think that really need the help. So uh, let's get this cargo trailer loaded and see if we can get these supplies to where they need to go. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. and we have our uh, truck and uh, cargo trailer loaded and uh, there's another truck at the fuel pump so we are about to head up to North Carolina. We stopped at a command center in Kendler, North Carolina and they showed us a map of the areas most in need. We decided to go to Bakersville, North Carolina which is about an hour west of Asheville. After two hours of driving, we arrived at the Bradshaw Volunteer Fire Department near Bakersville, North Carolina. If you would like to support this volunteer fire department, I have put the QR codes up on the screen. About <laughs> everything everything goes except the spare tire <laughs> and the jack because I need that in case we're right. in, a, in a ditch somewhere right. <laughs> all right blankets Some of the supplies in the most remote areas are being delivered by horseback or four-wheeler until the roads are completely cleared.
Good morning. I returned home last night about 11 p.m. from Western North Carolina. Some friends and I took two cargo loads of supplies to the area that was most devastated by the hurricane. We, uh, we dropped off our supplies at the Bradshaw Fire Department, which is a small community about an hour west of Asheville. Uh, that area has really been devastated. Uh, we, you know, some of the homes were just completely washed away and gone. Um, anyway, we uh, we worked at the distribution center for about eight hours. We we helped them sort out the supplies that were being brought in, and uh, we saw some of the locals showing up to pick up supplies. Uh, some of these people had just lost everything. I I saw I saw one. Uh, or I saw a couple of people show up barefoot to pick up some things. I, I spoke to one woman, elderly woman, who said she had lost her house. And uh, thank God she was, uh, she's able to live with her sister, so she has some place to go. Uh, but it's really uh, heartbreaking to see the devastation in that area. Um, I would like to say that if you're not going up there to help, don't go. We saw some people riding around in their Jeeps that were just uh, sightseeing, and they were really just in the way. If, if you're not going out there to help out, just stay home. Uh, don't, don't go up there just to sightsee. And if you're not able to physically help out in person, uh, consider giving uh, donations to Samaritan's Purse. Samaritan's Purse seems to have a strong presence in the area and also the American Red Cross. So I would, I would encourage you, if you can, to support uh, financially one of those, one of those organizations, uh, um, Samaritan's Purse or the American Red Cross. Um, anyway, those are, those are my thoughts about, uh, about the devastation in Western North Carolina. It, um, it's pretty bad up there. Uh, they are they are slowly slowly recovering, um, getting back to normal a little bit. The, the the bigger towns are in better shape than the small than the smaller areas, but they've got a long way to go. So anyway, um, help out if you can, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.